Hello and welcome to Tutorial CU. My name is Yannick and in this video we are going to talk about the abstract keyword in C Sharp, which you can use to create abstract classes or even abstract methods. So here we have a class which is called animal. Well animal is kind of generic, right? An animal could be a cat, an animal could be a dog, or whatever other animal which is a little bit more specified than the term animal you could probably think of. Well the same applies for a more real world scenario. Let's say we have a string writer. So is that string a JSON? Is it a XML string? Is it a plain text string? Sometimes it's really important to know what your class will actually do and that the behavior actually differs. If we create an abstract class just like that property here and the method, just take a look at that public abstract class animal, then we are not able to create an animal just like this. So we cannot simply say new animal. That will not work because he will now complain and say, okay, your animal is too generic, it's too abstract for me, it's not done, it's not specified enough, so you cannot create an instance from that object because that's exactly what abstract is doing. So in simpler terms, if it's important for your application to know that you have a cat or a dog or a bird and not just a generic animal, then you can use abstract. Same would apply for any kind of, let's say, string writer. If it's important that you know if it's a JSON string, an HTML string, an XML string or whatever, and a simple string is not enough for your business logic, then you could create an abstract class to provide the general structure, but no implementation of the functionality, and then create classes and inherit them from the base class to implement the functionality. So how can we create a bird that is derived from the animal class? So let's create a public class. Let's call it dog. Let's inherit it from animal. And let's take a look at the red underline here. Doc does not implement inherited abstract member makes sound. So if we now click on show potential fixes and we implement the abstract class, you can see that we need to create a public override void make sound. So we have to implement the make sound and we can then simply say like CW console right line woof. Awesome. So as you can see, we had to override the make sound method. So we have to implement it, including the logic. Please notice that inside of the animal class, we are creating that public abstract void make sound. So abstract here means that we have to use it later on in our derived classes. And you should also know that an abstract method inside of that abstract class cannot contain any implementation. So as soon as I try to write some code, some logic for that method, you can see the red underline animal makes sound cannot declare a body because it's marked as abstract. Abstract classes are incredibly powerful when it comes to polymorphism. And if we now duplicate that public class doc, let me just do that real quick. And we just add another class called cat and we say meow here. Then we can now for sure create, well, we could create our dog, let's say new dog. There we go, just like this animal, right? We could also go ahead and create our dog like this, dog, dog, and same applies for sure for our cat. So even if we use an abstract class, we can still create a new dog, but set the type of the variable to the base class, for example. We could also just use the dog right here. So this definitely allows us to get all the benefits from inheritance of polymorphism. So let me remove that animal here. Let me just say it's a dog. So animal dog, right? And then we say animal cat is a new cat. And now since our class is containing the abstract void make sound, we can simply say dog dot make sound and cat dot make sound. And he will simply check the abstract implementation finally in the derived class. So he will take a look at the overridden method, make sound and then print out woof or meow depending on the class. So let's start the application and see if that works. And as you can tell in the console, you can now see woof and meow. So that works just fine. If you are looking for a C Sharp skill and career boost, definitely check out our C Sharp Progress Academy. It is a self-paced online course that teaches you C Sharp, ASP.NET Core, Angular, unit testing and even c -sharp software design patterns in an easy and affordable way. We even offer a 14-day money-back guarantee and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a c -sharp developer. So check it out, you can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. 
If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any of our upcoming videos, because we help you to become a better c -sharp developer. Alrighty, so you might think that there is nothing else to say regarding to abstract classes and methods, but here is some more professional leveled knowledge. Right, so if we create an interface, we can create a default implementation for the interface members. Alrighty, so that said, let's create a public interface. So public interface, let's call it I animal. Now inside here, we will provide, well, the structure for the class. So let's first of all, take care of the property called name, get and set and that. We should definitely make this one here nullable. If you have no clue about nullable types, check out our video on that. So now, we will create the void make sound. There we go. Now we have our interface done. So we have a property and we have a void make sound, right? And again, we are not creating any implementation. The interface is not capable of doing that. So we can only, well, fold out the structure here, but now it gets more advanced. Let's take our class animal right here and let's just implement the interface inside here. So animal, there we go. Now, what we can do is if we want to have our abstract class, if we want to provide any default implementation here, so we can now take that make sound that we have right here, simply replace that public abstract with virtual, open up the curly braces, and now we can write some default implementation. So let's say console write line sound, right? So we have an animal, it's pretty generic, so what kind of sound does an animal make? Well, any sound, I'm not sure. But to be more specific, we could simply say like animal sound. There we go. Alrighty. So now we were able to create inside of our abstract class an implementation for an interface member. So the void make sound here is an interface member, for example. Now, please pay attention. In an abstract class, you can always use virtual. So even if I just remove that I animal interface here, just like this, we can still create a virtual void. Right, but now our dog and our cat do not have to implement that one. They could implement it, but if you want to say that they have to implement it, we need to make sure that we have the correct structure. So we have an interface, which is not optional. So all classes and derived classes have to implement the members. So this is why we say I animal. Now we have to implement that make sound. So in a moment I remove that, he will start complaining immediately, right? Perfect. So it really depends on the scenario. So this special feature of abstract classes allows you to create more flexible and reusable code. Awesome. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Make sure to give it a thumb up. Write any of your thoughts down into the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any upcoming videos. And make sure to check out our C Sharp Progress Academy if you are looking for a C Sharp skill and career boost. So thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video.